it's time to go green with Green Leaf Kratom. Shop at GLKUSA.com for a user-friendly experience and the highest quality Kratom products on the market. We source only the finest quality, naturally grown Kratom directly from Indonesia so you know you're getting the best of the best. Our strain guide is the perfect resource to find which strain works best for your body. Incredible savings, secure online shopping, and same-day shipping are just some of the great benefits you can expect when choosing Green Leaf Kratom. Get started today and discover why we're changing how people shop for Kratom. For a limited time, Green Leaf Kratom is giving away a third bottle free for every two bottles of capsules, powders, or flavored shots. Be sure not to miss out. It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Wednesday, the 7th of June. I'm Michael Groff. Temperatures a little bit below average for the rest of the week, heading into the weekend and the first half of next week. Unfortunately, that will be accompanied by dry conditions, only occasional high clouds around here. How long will this last? When might the heat really start to set in around here? We'll talk about that and everything else as we dive in. First of all, the almanac from yesterday. 101 degrees the afternoon high, 73 the morning low, pretty close to the averages of 102 and 76, 111 the record high in 2016, 58 that record low, wish we were seeing that, but hey, you know, a few valley locations or outlying locations could get pretty close to the upper 50s uh, on one of these nights here for the rest of this week. All right, the upper air weather pattern around the nation, and it's not changed a whole lot. It's gradually beginning to break down this blocking pattern that we've been seeing. Got low pressure for the East Coast. We've got a ridge across the northern plain states and up into Canada and a area of low pressure coming into the southwest, trying to go negative tilt as it does. But uh, this system for us is dry. Now, to the north and to the east of us, a fair amount of moisture and dynamic support leading to showers and thunderstorms. But around here, just we just don't have the moisture. It's just too dry for that. All right, let's take a look at the watch warning map. We've got some flood watches over parts of Montana. Air quality alerts for the Great Lakes, the Northeast, uh, stretching down into the Carolinas. And there could be some scattered air quality alerts for much of the eastern half of the country. Uh, saw the uh, game from Yankee Stadium uh, last night. A lot of smoke across New York. Oh, my goodness. Uh, low visibility there. It was uh, Some of this smoke from these Canadian wildfires has been pretty dense, and that's settling south. And so for a good portion of the eastern half of the country, you'll be dealing with that off and on, at least for a little while. Now, around here, no significant weather to discuss. However, convective outlook for today Patches of marginal risks for severe storms, level one out of five across Florida, the Carolinas, West Texas, eastern New Mexico, as well as the central and northern plains of the Dakotas, south and eastward toward Missouri, and a marginal risk for uh, parts of northern Nevada, Oregon, and Idaho. So places like Burns and Boise, Nampa, uh, Twin Falls, all those areas could see a few strong storms, and they could produce some hail and gusty straight-line winds. Remember, severe thunderstorms are defined as storms with wind gusts that exceed 57 miles per hour in speed by gust or sustained wind, and hail uh, three-quarters of an inch in diameter or greater. All right, the precipitation outlook around here. This is valid through Wednesday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, nothing statewide, essentially nothing. And not much region-wide, a little bit to the north and a little bit to the east across the Intermountain West. We'll talk about what's going on with this weather pattern in more detail to do that. We'll check the models. Here we go. The GFS, the 12Z run. This is valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Big trough for the east coast, a low coming into the southwest. Negative height anomalies across the southern tier of the United States. And above average heights for the northern plains and up into Canada. What it all means for us down at the surface for the rest of the day today, sunny, a little bit of a light breeze this afternoon, high temperatures, uh, not quite as warm. I'd say somewhere in the mid, maybe upper 90s. We're going with a temperature range about 93 to 97 in Phoenix today, so we should avoid those triple digits, and it will, of course, be dry tonight, mostly clear sky, dry conditions continue, lows mostly in the 60s, which isn't bad for the month of June. 
Of course, maybe the warmest spots of the urban core stay around 70. And then tomorrow, more the same. Sunny sky, maybe a few high clouds sneak in later in the day and high temperatures again somewhere in the mid-90s. Friday, a few more clouds come on through. We'll call it partly sunny and high temperatures still somewhere probably in the mid-90s, I'd say, and more or less the same deal on Saturday. You can see another area of low pressure kind of coming on through. Got some rain for the Sierra, a little bit up in the Great Basin, the Intermountain West, and certainly well to the east of Arizona as well. Dancing all around the state, but just nothing here. It's just too dry, and these areas of low pressure aren't going to get south enough to really draw any moisture in from the south. Plus, sea surface temperatures over the Sea of Cortez, the Gulf of California, they're just a little too low. They're actually unusually low for this time of year. So that may contribute to keeping us dry also. Regardless, high temperatures uh, will still stay a little bit below average, generally in the 90s here across the desert. Same thing Sunday, same thing on Monday. In fact, some of our guidance comes in even cooler for Monday. This could be the coolest day of the period. It's cool relative for June with high temperatures maybe just barely scraping above 90 to about 95 uh, for the lower deserts. So not bad here. But then we will begin a gradual warming trend. The heights will come up a little bit as low pressure moves away. High temperatures back toward the mid and upper 90s on Tuesday. Here's a week from today. This is Wednesday the 14th. You can still see we don't have a big sprawling ridge here over the southwest, but upper heights are slowly climbing back to around 582 to 585 decameters. So high temperatures probably somewhere in the 97 to 100, 101 range or so. And then maybe a little bit warmer as we go out 10 days. Now, this is still up in the air because this run of the GFS is slight deviation. This is Friday the 16th, and you can see a, a trough here across the Rockies, ridge over the Northeast Pacific. The height's a little lower than we've seen in previous runs. If this is right, that might stifle the warming trend a bit here. But high temperatures will still probably be close to seasonal averages and much of our guidance suggests they might actually come a little bit above normal. We'll see. All right, here's the part that, of course, is pretty predictable for this time of year. Rainfall for Phoenix off of the GFS Ensemble. This goes out through the 21st of June. And really nothing, of course. We're still in the dry season, although this is technically or theoretically for us is going to be the last month of the dry season. The monsoon season will be coming around to the corner here, but... For now, we're looking dry, and temperatures off the national blend of models will keep it just a skosh, a pinch, a dash, a slight little bit below average here, at least until about the middle part of next week. But the, you can see the NBM is bringing temperatures back up here as evidence of stronger ridging, or at least, at the very least, flat ridging comes back into the southwest, and that will mean temperatures creeping back up toward around 105 degrees give or take, and overnight lows are going to creep up as well from the 60s to the 70s to near 80 degrees, especially in the mid-city. That is going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation, the proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com, my quality champion. She is my Michelle. Thank you so much for watching and all of your continued support. It is so greatly appreciated. Please be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated out there, and have yourselves a terrific rest of your Wednesday.